Miss you. What would you recommend more for like a nurturing, pampering, motherly energy? Would you be a, a man or a woman? So, Joey, do you have any problem areas? I hold a lot of tension in my upper thighs. This was kind of like a band of brothers that you came into. They're sort of like fraternity brothers. How was it joining this group? <laughs> it was great. First of all, I had admired them from afar for years and years and years. And then second season, I believe, of Sex and the City, Vince came on and John came to visit. And they ad-libbed. And Sarah Jessica called me to say, ad-libbing is happening. You have to get down here because in our world we don't ad-lib, but in their world they do. So I wanted to try to be to be part of their group in whatever way I could could manage it. So I, I it was a dream. How was it working with the girls in Sex and the City? Are you a fan? I was a fan. I was a fan. They showed some full frontal nudity, which caused, caught me off guard once. <laughs> As a, as a he was man. traumatized oh. from the movie. He's talking about the first movie. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yes, so, that, that, oh. he said that to me like the first said, day. That threw me off a little bit, but other than that, I could, I could back it. I think it's great. It's insightful. It's great to see women speaking as women do. I'm a big fan of good dialogue, and they always they always had great chemistry on that show. Thank you. And uh, so I, I like that, and it was a it was a chance to mix a lot of talented people together. Yeah. Uh, I had never worked with um, all these people together at the same time, but I worked with a lot of them separately. So. And you could see where we are. <laughs> this is, uh, it, it didn't take a lot of arm twisting to get us to come yeah. out here. And, well, Kristen, so many people know her as Charlotte on Sex and the City yes. and love her for it. This yes. character is really the total opposite, especially yeah. the way she approaches relationships. So why do you think that made her perfect for this? I think what's fun for both of us is we're both used to playing very different characters than we play here. In the, in the films that I've done with Vince in the past, I've been sort of the moral center and he's been the wild supporting guy. Uh, this was a chance to flip that with a movie he was making, and I got to be that guy. Which was and, very and also, confusing, uh, too, because when I read it, I thought John was playing Vince's part, and Vince yeah. was playing John's part, and then when I went in for the meeting, I was like, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, who, who, who is my husband, who's my husband? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was so excited, because it is this other side, you know what I mean? And, and we wanted to see that in each other, like, it makes more fun as an actor. I think it's right? cool, to, yeah, I think the characters are kind of not that likable on paper, because they're, I don't really... They're can, sort of they're sort of sad. I can see how you would think that they are because they're they're mm -hmm. sort of you know it was a couple to to juxtapose Vince's couple, and it's the one that uh, when I wrote that part it's like yeah. things from my life where the Vince's part the kids waking up in bed peeing <laughs> in their bed <laughs> renovating the house the right. you know not having taken a honeymoon, yeah. and then this couple was rough because it was the worst possible situation a marriage could be in and I think what was about the two of us is since we usually play more likable characters. It brought it redeemed them with a little bit of charm. So I think it I think it was a nice counterbalance, and it, I think it was a smart a smart way to go. Who is that? That's the yoga guy. Damn. Allow me to put on something more proper. Thank God. Now, who is ready for the yoga? This just gets better and better. You are known for your writing, and I th Thanks. and and people quote your movies. I mean, you realize yeah. that, right? That people love to quote your film. Yeah, and this was a big change for me because it was it was something I had written uh, to, and, and originally was supposed to direct. And then when Iron Man came out, I, I had to do Iron Man two, and so I, I handed it off, and Peter was directing it, and Vince actually did uh, uh, the rewrites with his writing partner Dana Fox. So it was very strange to go from being a writer. To somebody who was handed pages, and to actually just have to worry about being a performer. So it was a, it was a very interesting exercise but for, for me. For me, it was great because every once in a while, while we'd be sitting around waiting, John would say to me, "Because I love directing, I I don't personally want to. I I'm in awe of people who can, but technically, he has such understanding that he would he would say, uh, you know, we're gonna shoot la la la, and then Peter would come in and go, we're gonna shoot la 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 la. Like I, it was like I got a crash course." Because he knows all different, he's writer, producer, director, actor. So for me, it made everything a lot more fun. You mentioned that your character is, was really kind of a stretch, especially for you. Yeah. They're not, they wouldn't be likable, although I do like your couple. But there's something very real about what's happening with your couple. Well, what do you think is going to be the most relatable thing when I, people watch I it? I think most, we're the type of couple that most people know couples like them, but they mm -hmm. aren't. Because it's the couple that... Right. that has not put any work in the relationship for 20 years. They got married way too early. We're frozen in time, basically. And, and, we, and we're getting ready, we're counting the, the weeks till we get divorced. So it was more uh, in, in, in a fantasy way to show that even the worst couple mm -hmm, in the worst mm -hmm, situation, mm -hmm. if they try mm -hmm. and they rekindle that hope, yeah. you know, the expression is, 
if both people are only willing to go halfway, call the lawyers. <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to be really willing to try. And right. we weren't, and it shows that if, if you have a marriage, no matter how far gone it is, if, if you both sincerely want to make it work, there's always a way to do it. And that's, that's I think, the nice message in our, in our couple. Okay, a couple random questions about the movie, just kind of for fun. <laughs> I, I don't know who wants to answer this one, but who would look better in a Speedo, John or Vince? I'm not going to touch that one. John! 100%! My man! They have Speedos now, by the way, that cover your whole body. Stop it! Stop <laughs> that's, it. The, that's the one I would look at. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, come I, on. I, I take my clothes off far too much in this movie. Yeah, so I do I. Do it. Yeah, but you look, you look smoking. I'm, I'm doing it. With, with me, it's a sight gag. With me, it's, you know Stop. what? It'll, it'll make a laugh. Stop! It's baby! You're a man. We like a man. Here Tell we him we like I agree. a man. Yeah. I don't want to feel like embarrassed when I'm in a suit. I don't want to feel comfortable. That's right. Man. And also so she stood next to me and she always looked Stop good. Stop it. And I, no. and I would stand next to Faison. Oh, funny. I said, is there anything I could do to look thinner? They said, yeah, stand next to Faison. You're hysterical. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite yoga pose and did you do it in the movie? Oh, my. <laughs> was that real yoga? That was No. I'm not big on yoga, but I don't remember seeing any of that in the book. Yeah, no. <laughs> what, I don't that was stuff, that, most of the stuff in the movie was stuff that Vince was yelling at Carlos to do It's to true. Us. It's yeah. totally true. And there's stuff in the movie that, that remember when, when you're in front of me and Carlos was behind me? Yes. Like the day that I went home and I was like, I don't know what happened on the set. I feel traumatized <laughs> that day. Like if that were in the movie, that's like the, the X-rated version. I mean, there were crazy things that happened that are not in the movie. So yes. no, it's the answer is no. It's a PG-13 movie. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so then what's going to make the DVD cut that we haven't I, I hope best. not much. <laughs> <laughs> it would be really funny, though. You're but it on, would definitely you'll be honest, be. then. Best scene that didn't make the movie. Oh, Jeez. my. Be oh, 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 gay dancing, gay dancing. <laughs> when you guys go to the club and it's not in there. Oh, my God. The dailies were so funny from that. There was a lot of different oh. stuff. Were you dancing? There was uh, we went in the wrong to the wrong resort and, and I end up we end up. It's in so it, adorable. All, I can't even tell you how in cute an all it male is. in an all male bar. And he has bar. those those like lights around his neck yeah, and he's like dancing. <laughs> oh my god! It takes me a while to realize there aren't any women in the club. It's fantastic. It yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Except that's, the jet ski was a really good day too. God, remember that? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's in the, in the movie, movie at the end, but not all of it. Yeah, we we uh we were did we fall? In? Oh, remember? Oh, we that's that was. I was I was very chivalrous that yes. day. She was scared to be on the jet skis out there, and 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 we caught the wake of a boat, and to keep her from falling, and I had to jump off. He of did. It and, and, and he did. Save her beautiful hair. That's why he's my man. Yeah. That's why you chose yeah. him as your husband. We did get along. Right. I have to say that that made it very easy. Is is to is to have somebody that you were able to get along with, and we all and also both of us, we we we've, we've we've been working for a while. We've mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and so we, we both have had experience us in a lot of other sets and here being so remote you know it's very beautiful and very fun but it's very isolated too it's intense and so it's really good to have a partner that you get along with absolutely off camera and on. you two are awesome thank you. you i've never met you're delightful nice to Love meet you, to meet well. you. Well, thank you. and i'm so Pleasure. glad everything Pleasure. went well this time <laughs> everything went well okay i don't want to get you in yeah. trouble I want you to start but perhaps this will warm up the evening what is that it's an island rum, infused with the essence of the coconut fruit. Mm. Delicious. Yes, you like? Very much. It's yummy. It's yummy, 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 isn't it? Mm. Yes. Oh, oh, mm. slow down there, killer. <laughs> you know, it is good to have a drink and have a good time. Then do it.